What's up, everybody? Just, uh, making a video today showcasing DPC Kingsguard. Used as a topper right now as a standalone. It's going to be on the driver's side. And then this is Car Pro Reload. It's going to be on the passenger side. So we're going to do a chemical durability test on the hood. And then we'll showcase the water behavior um, before we start out. And then also on the vehicle. So this is my personal vehicle. And we live here in Washington State. So as it gets colder, um, everything that comes with that cold weather, we'll go ahead and see in real time over the next several weeks um, the performance of both these products. So let's go ahead and start out with the water behavior here in the hood. You can see right here in the middle, um, there's nothing on there. It's very clean. All right, so we'll start out with Car Pro's Iron X. All the products I have, these are all products that I use on my personal vehicles. Right now I work for the Army. I've been in nine years, so I do paint correction and ceramic coatings on the side. So on um, DPCs, their Facebook page, someone wanted to see a chemical test. And that's really why I'm shooting this video, to showcase the performance of this. Now of course, a lot of these chemicals that we're going to use, you know, it's never typically going to come in contact with the paint at these quantities. So this is just really, just to showcase some durability. On DPC Kingsguard, look at the water behavior on the hood, how fast the water sheets together, or the dispersion of the water compared to Car Pro Reload. So typically in the SIO2s, you're going to see a lot of beading like you do on the left hand side there. The water beads up real quick, nice tight beads. And on the right side, as soon as I move that spray of water, right, the, the fan, it sheets off. So that causes me to believe maybe there's some titanium or something else, some other type of chemical that's causing it to sheet. Again, right now, you see nice tight water beads beading a lot. And on the right hand side with arm, or excuse me, with Kingsguard, it sheets. All right, after the Iron X, we're gonna go ahead and wipe this down with some Car Pro Reset Car Wash and see if the water behavior is affected after we neutralize the chemicals. Let's see if we see any difference in water behavior. Alright, again, take notice of how quickly the water evacuates the surface, right? It sheets up off the surface on DPC Kingsguard. Now, as we go over the Car Pro Reload, we're seeing some of the same behaviors. It pulling together, sheeting, evacuating the surface, but not at the rate that DPC Kingsguard did. Now, some of this, or a lot of this, is due to the chemicals that we're using to break down the actual spray sealants that we're testing out here. So, of course, you know. The topper itself is not going to perform as it did when we first started out this video. Our next up is American Detailer Garage F-Bomb. This is an all-purpose cleaner or multi-purpose cleaner. So especially if you're tuning in from my Instagram, um, a lot of y'all like to use just chemical guys or atoms. They're really good at marketing, but they don't, or they have like a lot of the same stuff, right? So especially in the detailing world, there's a lot better stuff for stuff that's more cost effective that can be just as good and maybe sometimes even better. 
And this is gonna be at a one to 10 ratio. I find one, one thing in the car scene I notice is Adams and Chemical Dives, they're both great at marking, especially in the tuna world. And that's all everybody really knows to use. So I try to be an advocate for more detailer related products. It's got a uh, Dallas paint correction, uh, luxury microfiber, Manette showstopper, um, Billy Bogus with American Detailer Garage. They all make quality products that are more detailer related, made by detailers so they know what works. A lot of us are visual, right? We like to see things to know that something's on the surface of the paint protecting it. And I think that's why this industry, when it comes to protecting your vehicle, why water beads have, you know, one over the majority of the public. One thing to keep in mind though, when you're not around, when you're not looking at your vehicle, what is happening on the surface of the paint? And that's why if you ask most detailers, they will prefer a product that sheets the water. As you can see when that water sheets or evacuates that surface quickly that leaves you with less water beads so when that water dries up you're stuck dealing with the after effects or the consequences of that water drying up on the surface One thing to know right here on the passenger side, this is CarPro Reload, right? So this is what you're gonna to top your ceramic. And anytime you're talking about ceramic, you're probably referring to the SIO2. So this spray sealant is meant to top the SIO2, or excuse me, top the ceramic. Um, and then DPC is the topper. So DPC does make armor, which is the SIO2, it's a 10% spray uh, sealant. That would be more comparable to what this product is, but since DPC Kingsguard just came out, I wanted to go ahead and test this out of my car. Wash this off. I'm also going to wipe this down too. A lot of people think that there's going to be maybe some residual stuff on the surface. It's a great towel, it's a luxury microfiber sucker, great drying towel. Another reason I wanted to make this video, right? I've learned a lot from Moscata Dallas Paint Correction, um, Brian from Apex Detail. You have a lot of great YouTubers that pass on their knowledge, right? So with that, I think the people that teach us, um, we all have a confirmation bias. So we go to YouTube, we learn things from people, and maybe you start liking obviously what that person stands for, the products that they make. So you, you have a confirmation bias. That's really another reason why, which means if you have like a, a deep rooted strong belief, um, you stand behind someone, their products, you probably have a bias towards that product, right? So you like that product more. Um, and this is really another reason. Results speak for themselves. Um, at the end of the day, with whatever you use to detail your car, you have to be happy with supporting that brand, that person, the product, and the performance. All right, so now let's go ahead and hit some uh, super clean on this, see how it handles it.
flat, as you can tell. Water's laying on the surface, trying to sheet it off right here. For the most part, pretty flat. underneath the span as I'm spraying this it looks like on the DPC side King God is trying to fend it off right here sheet it away on this side of the fan opposed to the car pro reload Alright, as we look at DPC Kingsguard, it's still sheeting the water really quickly. Right? After something as, as strong as Super Clean Heavy Degreaser, it's still pulling off the surface and it sheets off of the surface. Opposed to the Car Pro Reload right now, as you can see, as that fan of water goes by, it's laying flat, which means there's no protection on the paint. As you see there, bam, that water is dissipating really quick, evacuates the surface rather quickly opposed to the car pro reload. You can see Kingsguard. Just close out the video again we were testing the chemical durability on dpc kingsguard versus car pro reload more accurate uh, comparison would be car pro reload versus dpc's armor this is at five percent it says more than five percent silica and dpc full strength is at ten percent so this would actually be a proper comparison i have this diluted with distilled water at 50 50. Um, i think this was a good base just to test out Kingsguard, see the hydrophobic properties, the water bean, and also the chemical resistance. And I think it's a good baseline to see how this product behaves and how it acts. Um, now with this testing material, I think the next step for myself, what I'd like to see is how does armor compare to Kingsguard behavior? So as far as, or even put a base layer of armor down, let it cure and then top it with Kingsguard and then compare that water behavior to just King's Guard by itself. Um, based off what I've seen personally today, um, like this says, this is supposed to be a final protectant layer. So this is supposed to go over something like armor or even car pro reload itself. Um, I probably would use this on top of one of these two, right? I don't think I'd use this as a standalone, although you can. I probably would put it on top of right here. And that's what I would be really interested in because it was designed for that to see how does the water behavior or the chemical durability last with Kingsguard applied on top of armor or even on top of car pro reload. So maybe good idea for a next video if y'all would like to see that. If you have any comments um, or any advice, um, please go ahead and hit me up in the comments let me know if you'd like to see any more of this content. Hope you like what you saw today and as always, like and subscribe.